Hi, this is the Imperia RMN220 and today we're going to go over replacing the thickness adjustment knob. Uh, the part is available on imperiaparts.com and included in the packaging is the adjustment knob, the plastic bushing, uh, replacement cotter pin, and also the adhesive label. So we're going to start by disassembling the machine. And just to go over the parts that we're going to use in this demonstration, a 3mm punch, a ball peen hammer, Got a Phillips or a flathead potentially if you have different screws in your machine and a pair of channel locks. So I'm going to begin by removing the screws on the uh, exterior panel. Pay close attention to the length of the screws. There are two different lengths. We have a shorter and a longer screw. The shorter screw goes on top and the longer screw goes on the bottom. Get this cover off. You want to make sure that the power is disconnected uh, just for, for safety, but uh, at this point we've already got the machine unplugged, so it's there. I'm going to uh, remove the screw that's uh, in the center of the knob, and that comes off as so. Keep it on the washer, pull this guy off, and now you can see uh, we'll have access to the, uh, <clears throat> the cotter pin which we need to punch out. So we're going to rotate this vertical so that the, uh, the pin is, is uh, straight up and down and we'll use our three millimeter punch and go ahead and knock it out. Just like so. Cool. Now if this is doesn't want to come off, this is where the channel locks are going to come in handy and you pretty much just pull it straight off. Give it a little bit of wiggle and then there it goes. Now we're getting ready to install the new bushing and uh, we're just basically going to slide this guy on and then line up the two holes. So the new cotter pin, we're going to give one edge a little bit of a squeeze and that's going to allow it to go together that much easier. Just give it a little bit of a taper there. So now. We give it a tap, that much easier. So to finish it, we'll use the Nipex, or our channel locks here, and just give it a good squeeze. Ta-da! Cool. Go ahead and replace this cover. Remember the short screw goes on top. Now if you have trouble aligning the screws into the holes, you can put the machine on its side and then just drop the screw straight down and uh, they'll align themselves really easily. Cool. So now we're going to take our adjustment knob and we're going to push it on and we're going to close the rollers all the way just until they touch but don't tighten it just as soon as the rollers touch go ahead and stop and that's going to be our zero position so we can either mark that with a scribe um, or a sharpie and basically just a reference where the zero mark is then we'll take our new decal and go ahead and apply that so i've got my zero mark Now that we've got our decal installed, uh, we're going to go ahead and reinstall the knob and we're pretty much done. Note the direction of the numbers. So they, the, they start at zero and then go in this direction. Um, so we're going to get that knob back on and our Phillips screw and washer to hold it in place. Cool. And we're all set. Back to making pasta.